getting set to receive the second half kickoff, and they trail it here as we resume play. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Take over first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string together, get some consistency, something sustained, maybe calm their whole team down and find a way to get back in this one. Yeah, because right now you're down big, you're being shut out. Let's see if this is the drive that kind of kickstarts them. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. It's a first down on a gain of 10. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Now he dumps this off over the middle. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. Cousins now from the 50. Escaping the pressure right. He's going to take off with it. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. Five yards on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Cousins trying to lay one up deep. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Vikings. B.C. Johnson. B.C. Johnson. 45 yards. And the Vikings are able to cut into that deficit. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard and you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Takes this about five yards deep. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. First and 10 at their own 21-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Their lead down from 21 to 14, but still sitting in a great spot, up two scores here in the third quarter. A run there with Henry as he gets forward only for about three. Second down coming up. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he's trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. They'll run it again with Henry. Oh, look at the juke. Shedding the tackler, and it gives him some room. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Give him 14 on that one, and a first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And that'll be incomplete. He was trying to get it to A.J. Brown that time, and that'll bring up second down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. On second down, here's Henry. He's got the first down and more past midfield. And finally brought down at the 38. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. This is a little bit like baseball here. Strong up the middle. Both sides want to be that. In this case, the offense ended up winning the ultimate battle. And those big runs between the tackles, that's a little deflating for a defense, isn't it? It really is because that's where your strength's supposed to be. You're supposed to be in a spot where they can't make that yardage there. You're supposed to send them outside. Not in this case. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. Now a first and 10 at the 11. From the gun, here's Tannehill. His pass caught at the four, and he will score. Touchdown, Titans. An 11-yard touchdown, and the Titans find a way to stretch their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me, very precise, 
methodical as one of the words you've taught me and they just got it done and slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit things looking good for them here in the third quarter not only pulling away but you mentioned that slowly but surely you also drain clock too with yep. a drive like that so you really give yourself an advantage taken in the end zone And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Vikings take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter. Went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? Second 10 coming up here in Nashville. Third quarter action. And that one almost intercepted. Call it a 50-50 ball. It falls incomplete and now third down. Well, you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those, but the coverage has been excellent thus far, and it was again on the last play. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. To throw, Cousins. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 17 yards, first down, Vikings. It's a gain of seven. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. And now a throw here, secured by his running back out of the backfield. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Not much there, only a yard. 38 yard line, second and nine. They'll throw again. Cousins. And his throw is incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well. And that one's incomplete. Yards to go. On third down, Cousins. Flush to his right. He may try and run for this. The throw complete to BB. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Looks like the offense is going to take another shot here. They're going on fourth and 13. They'll indeed go for it. It's Cousins. That's to his running back, complete. And now this is going to depend on the spot. And they say he's just short. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And the Titans, they've got the football back, and they've got it in great field position. So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second-half blowout material. Here's Tannehill. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off here, the 32, 20. And they will finally get him, but not until he's all the way down inside the 15-yard line. And they needed a break. They needed to make a play here in the third quarter. Defensively, they did that. Now they got to go quickly and get some points on the board. And the best part is that they made their own break. Took the ball away. Now they just look at their offense and say, guys, let's go. Come on, capitalize on this one. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. It's rowing on second and eight. Cousins. That'll be complete to Cook. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. Loss of two yards. And it's third down. Here's Cousins. This is caught. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Back now in Nashville. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. They'll run for it with Cook. And he will take this one into the end zone for a Viking touchdown. Dalvin Cook taking it in. And the Vikings capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. Is good. Extra point up and good by Bailey. And that cuts the lead to 28-14.
Dan Bailey to kick off for Minnesota. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Taken about seven yards deep. And he returns this to the 22. The Titans take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. If they can score here, they have a chance to make this a three-possession game and all but put things to bed. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets them to second and four. Well, Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football, but they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Paltz, this is by Thema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go longer. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. First down carry for Henry. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. So the 14 yards actually takes him from 143 to the other for first and 10. Now Tannehill, and he'll get this underneath to Henry. It's a gain of seven, and it'll be a second down. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swing, slant, quick out, things that they consider safe. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. A two-yard pickup. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. The Vikings going to signal for their first to their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. Watch 50. Watch 50. They snap. I'm like a finger 11, take a second, I'm finna send it like a pair in a mess to the best. If it ain't me, then you need you a confession, you a mess. Uh, you ain't scary to me. I heard you was a leader, but that ain't a pair to me. Put dust on you like Cheetah, run up and I'm there in the scene. And I feel just like Vegeta Prince and I'm an heir to the seat. I mean, for real. Touch the dragon sauce so I don't even grab the wheel. That's a lot my chest, but it don't mean the man is stealing me. And I'm walking with some money, man, I mean a couple mil. <clears throat> Ew, think you need a meal. You ain't even eating while I'm feasting in the field. That's why I'm always cheesing, cause I feel like Uncle Phil. And all this loose thing, the freshman ain't half the man as well. Are you irresponsible without your money or not? Thought he had a plan, but we gon' foil his plot. Heard him sneaking in, so we just ran in the spot. And then we spin the block around just like the hell on the clock. Are you irresponsible without your money or not? Thought he had a plan, but we gon' foil his plot. Heard him sneaking in, so we just ran in the spot. And then we spin the block around just like the hands on the clock. Just like the hands on the clock, I go back to bat when I'm doing numbers. All the mad that I'm driving the bus, so they threw me under. Heard they mad, they don't wanna bust, so they boo each other. Think that they're the winning team, go losing, then they choose another. And that's okay, cause I'm competing with me, not you. I live with blessings like I can't stop sneezing, I chew. Well, I hate to break a bone me and myself, top two. I blow away the competition like a ball of hot soup. And there's no catch. I go and get the bag, and I'm not bringing it back. I'm like a down QB, I put the pain in the past. And if you ever had a problem, promise I didn't ask. So it's 444 in the car, my dash. I shake a big toy. Them all you went first, you last. Little boy, that's facts. I'ma pour that cash to my money. <laughs> you know what? They don't know my name. I get through the pain. Taste what 
sweet on my face like it's lemonade. Tie me up in chains, I'll get through the pain. Taste sweet on my face like it's lemonade. They say fall and you let go. But I know I got an antidote to retain some kind of self-control. Look inside my head through a telescope. You were raised so the calls from a telephone. No sense of smile, maybe tell a joke. Holding back your tears, singing minimal syllables. Yeah. Look at me, out the asylum. Was a fate or mistake? Cause the time ain't up. Yet yeah, a parts of my mind don't get much love. If you want in my head, come and call me up. You look like a twisted Robin Hood. Yeah, you take from the rich and the poor and us. Wearing diamond shoes where you walk your pubs. In a town you could rate where there ain't no love. The NFL on EA Sports is in the great state of Tennessee at Nissan Stadium here in Nashville. The whole of downtown Nashville likely still reverberating with the sounds of the Titans taking the field a moment ago. They're ready for football as their Titans are set to match up with Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks. Steven Goskowski is set to kick off. The Titans kicker, Steven Goskowski, ready to do the honors, and we are underway in Nashville. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Wilson. That's complete to DK Metcalf. And they work this well upfield across the 45. To DK Metcalf. A good pick up there, a 22. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. And he ran right through one tackle as he fights forward for a gain of seven. Brought down at the 45 yard a nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they will pay dividends as the game progresses. From the 45 on second down. Wilson, and this is caught. It's Greg Olson. Wilson's and he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 28. I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses because when you can have that type of a game in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways because most teams like to be strong down the middle. And if you can sting them there, 
that opened things up for him in the outside as well. But that's where he, their big tight end, is so good, that middle third, the seam routes, the end routes. Yeah, you're right, probably see more of that. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well, and he's got it. Three at the Titans' 20-yard line. On second down now. It's Carson, and he'll get it down this time to the 17. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football. In that situation, that's almost a tendency breaker. That is caught at the seven. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. The Seahawks moving pretty well through the air. Another first down. From the two, here's first and goal. They'll try to run with Carson. And he's across the chalk into the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Seahawks take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. That's just a solid, methodical drive to start this game. And how about how it culminated? Doing exactly what they wanted to do, getting the ball downfield, and then running it into the end zone. I'm just telling you, partner, when you run it in rather than throw it in, that hurts the defense psychologically a heck of a lot more. Now this will make it into the end zone. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble to bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. 27 yard line. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their own 27. Let's go, you tighten up. Right there, 54, right there, right there. First down, Henry with a little bit of running room. Nice game. He'll get about six yards there. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. Now a man open down the middle of the field. Uh, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. So first and 10 now from the 30. At the 30-yard line. On the counter, it's Henry. Yeah, officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Dunbar on the tackle. It's rare that a man his size can't at least push forward for a yard, but they stopped him there for nothing. You talk about tiny? You talk about the little guy back tiny. there? That monster. Yeah, you're exactly right. And it takes a group effort to get a guy like that down and not let him find some space. The first guy in, he's got to take one for the team, right? Because he's just waiting there and holding on for everyone else to help him out. Throwing on third down, Tannehill. Just what Seattle was hoping for. The coverage holds, and now fourth down. That's pretty nice to watch as he matched the route with the receiver and stayed right there, stuck to him like glue. Almost hip to hip, shoulder to shoulder. Helped force the incompletion. Now let's see how the offense still out there. They elect to go on fourth and 11. Tannehill now to throw. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jamal Adams. 
And he will bring this all the way back out to midfield. What a start defensively. Your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense scored to go up 7-zip, you would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well. When they took the shot downfield, they were more than prepared for that one. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. They go play action here on first down. They'll find Ballore out of the backfield. That catch good for only a couple. A gain of two brings up second. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. It's Carson, and he'll get about three as he's brought down to the 28. The Seahawks ball carrier. He was brought down at the 28-yard line. A three-yard gain on the play. Wilson after the play fake to Carson. They finds his man, the tight end Olson. And he'll be brought down at the 28, and that is well short of the first. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, like hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. Jason on comes Myers the Seahawk the kicker here on fourth down. It's Jason Myers from the right hash. This from 45 yards away. And Myers winds up yanking it. This is no good. Line to the left, and this score will stay right where it is. So an empty possession there. What do you think went wrong, Charles? Well, it looked like maybe the plant leg might have given way just a little. And when that happens, guys have a tendency to pull through the ball to compensate. And in doing so, sent this one off target. The tackle made by K.J. Wright. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front. Because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Now this window is running back out of the backfield. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 36. Tannehill get a turn and give this to Henry. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. 38-yard line. On second and 12, Tannehill. Smith catches left side. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 19 yards there on the catch and run. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. 19-yard line. Derek Henry. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Taken down. The tackle there by Quandry Diggs. A gain of five. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Tannehill on third down. Forced out to his left. Just what Seattle was hoping for. The coverage holds. And now fourth down. Well, he certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. And no signs of the field goal unit. They're going for it on fourth down. Out of the gun, Tannehill. And he's got it. 
And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our eat. And he will take this one in for a Titans touchdown. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Titans are an extra point away from tying this thing up. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And he'll weave all the way up to just a few yards shy of midfield. A great return. In a tie game, both sides are looking for something to give them an advantage. It often falls back on special teams. And that return, that could be the spark to untie the game. Good starting field position here for the Seahawks as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Going with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Second and 10, it's Wilson again. And that's going to be incomplete. Tyler Lockett was the target there. And now it's third down. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They forced incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. From the shotgun, Wilson. That's complete into the hands of Carson. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. First down. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there. Getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. A gain of nine. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. To throw again on second down. Wilson being chased out left. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. When in doubt, do it yourself as he keeps it for three and a first down. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Looking to throw again on second down. Wilson dancing to his left. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. At this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. And it's caught. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Now a 
play fake here on first down. Rolling to his right. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Greg Olson was the intended target, but it'll be second and goal. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he will take this one in for the Seattle touchdown. Chris Carson as the first half is winding down. And the Seahawks have taken the lead. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Makes the score Seahawks 14, Titans 7. Jason Myers to kick off for Seattle. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Fielded in the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Titans take over first and 10 at their own 18-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Likely time for just one final play, and then it'll be off to the locker room to talk about how they can erase this deficit. Yeah, and I think a lot of people look at it and go, well, maybe you take a shot here. Maybe you get some momentum going into the half. What's the flip side of that? You do something crazy, quarterback gets hit, ball comes free, and now you're down an even bigger margin. Go ahead and take this one. Go to the locker room, start over. 54 is Mike. 54 is Mike. Check, check. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The Titans going to get the ball to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back to it on EA Sports. Taken about seven yards deep. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Take over first and 10. At their own Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Getting had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. And it's complete. Henry. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Well, they only needed a small gain on third down. They end up getting over 30 yards. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Uncorks one for Davis. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man, and you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. Tannehill able to take off and pick up the first as well. Well, that was man coverage. So once he decides to run with the football, there's no one to account for him, and he turns it into a nice gain. On first down, it's Henry, and they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Gain on the play. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sacked back of the 29. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discredited. Trying for Humphreys, but it's intercepted. 
picked off at the 12. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. A gain of four. It's now second and six at the 19-yard line. To throw on second and six. Wilson, left side complete to lock it. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. So first and 10 now from the 30. First down. This is Carson. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in this second half. Instead, it's third down. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. From the gun, it's Wilson. Open man is Jacob Hollister. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. First time they've looked his way in this game. He comes through picking up the first. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. Now it's Carson. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Brings up second and 11 at their 48-yard line. On second and 11 now, Wilson. Pressure comes, and the Titans able to bring him down. Sack there by Jadevian Clowney. Wilson of the Seahawks looking for something big following the sack. It's third and long here. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Intended for David Moore. Incomplete. Now here's Michael Dixon. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. And he gets this away. And look at this. This is a good one. The Titans take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Tannehill with a play fake to Henry. He'll throw instead. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on. Third down. Third down. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available. And incompletion as a result. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. They'll run on first down. Henry. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Now a first down throw, Tannehill. He'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. Give him 30 yards there. That's a real nice job right there, working the middle of the field, working against those safeties. And you know, partner, if you get your hips turned the wrong way, big plays can result. And a big play resulted right there. Now we've got movement up front. I think this is going to be on the Titans. A 
False start backs him up five. First and 15. Now Tannehill. They set up the screen for Henry. It'll be a gain of nine, and it'll be second down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Throwing again on second down. Tannehill. Throw left side complete. It's Smith. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. If that throw good for only a couple, it brings up third down. To the air again, Tannehill. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That's a good job there, creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. It's complete, swings it out to his running back. But he will not get away. He stops short of the marker. The Titans try it, but ultimately they fail on fourth down. And the Seahawks are going to take over the football. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. They'll start out on the ground with Carson. And he'll use his blockers to get this up over the 20 to the 21. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Gain of seven brings up second and three at the 21-yard line. Here's Wilson. Flushed out right. He's going to take off with it. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. The rushing numbers for Wilson may be down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go, showing it there, picking up the first down. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Now a dump off here complete. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Three yards the game there, second down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. And the Seahawks. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. Here's Carson. They go read option with Wilson. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop. 1.50 left in the football game. And they at the 46-yard line. On second down now, it's Carson. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. They give those two yards right back, and now they're looking at a third and 10. Big play coming up. Here's third and 10. I would expect to see some pressure here. And the blitz does come. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Pick out, pick out, pick out. 
They run for it with Carson. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. That one a backbreaker as they wind up converting there on fourth. Down Seahawks. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Now a first carry for their fullback. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll... It's the NFL on EA Sports as we are in the inner harbor of Baltimore at M&T Bank Stadium. Out of the trap. 
around, watching me bow. Soon as I snap, head of the pack, walk for the sack, shaking them all, breaking them all, talking my talk, walking my walk. I got to sit on the throne, get in the zone, turn it on, mubby the shoes, mubby the team, mubby the camp, mubby the crew. You need a win, who need a win? That's all we do. I've been a king and I've been about mine. Never could doubt mine. They running the route. I leave a pout line when I hear them. It's the NFL on EA Sports as we are in the inner harbor of Baltimore at M&T Bank Stadium. There's a scene a short time ago the Ravens introduced to this sellout crowd and through a sea of pyrotechnics, out they came from the tunnel. We're set to go as the Ravens get ready to match up with the Seattle Seahawks. Here's the kicker, Jason Myers, to get this one started. And off we go from M&T Bank Stadium. This taken in about four yards deep. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. 21 yard line. Someone put me out cause I'm on fire I can't give a about what they say They've been searching for that thing to get them higher You can't catch my drill, can't catch my wave Damn Kane, you done kill Abel Unbalanced land trying to keep the people stable The way I feel, I might f*** it all up The way you feel, you might do it for the buck All black Born to be a rebel after this, I might go in water down the devil. Listen to everything around me, I can't see. You picked a dozen roses and left them in Galilee, rolling thunder. Don't hear my cry, don't let alibi stash if I follow it's to realize. Never give up and go inside. I can't watch TV. It's all a lot time to try and go ahead and fly. Everybody want a straight answer for me. You keep us blind. A good heart is not hard to find. Why the people try to define infrastructure right on that time? Infrastructure right on that time. Okay, okay. It's all to we're talking about. You're about to protect the sons and daughters from political and slaughter. Someone put me out because I'm on fire. I can't give a about what they say. They've been searching for that thing to get them higher. You can't catch my drill, can't catch my wave. Never 
play by the rules. Got your pay on my dues. They gon' try to intrude. Boys in the multitude. They be cool to accuse. When you got different views, just know you gon' pay the price. You press up the item you choose. Many times in the culture, hit you with them can't ultra. I knew you was a vulture. Holy Ghost get the ushers. No, 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 I can't trust you. Shock you, deny you fluster. Crashing down, I was cluttered. Doing this so subtle. Rolling out through the rubble. Remember this and jump at the top. I was gonna get something. The middle gotta stay hunting. Why the rush up for nothing? 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 Agitated illusion. Only built for confusion. The, the institution. Modern day execution. Think I know the solution. Maybe not should I do it. Just put it in the music. Just put it in the music. It's the NFL on EA Sports as we are in the inner harbor of Baltimore at M&T Bank Stadium. The two teams emerging from their respective tunnels a minute ago to the approval of this Baltimore crowd. They're all set as their Ravens will match up with the Seattle Seahawks. Justin Tucker to kick off for Baltimore. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from M&T Bank Stadium. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. State alum Chris Carson and not much to speak of call it a one yard gain up to the 26 yeah things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line a lot of bodies not much space I think ultimately he was fortunate to get anything out of that run the last play got just a yard here's second and nine from the 26 operating from the gun Wilson. That's complete. Hits Carson out of the backfield. Pass. It's a gain of five on the play, and they're going to have a third down. Yards on the that might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity down. there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back, and it could turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. From the gun, Wilson, eluding the pressure right. And this is going to be incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. Okay, look at this. The punt team nowhere to be found. They're on the sidelines. Offense going to go for this on the opening drive. Here we go on fourth with Wilson. And this is incomplete. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game. And the Ravens get the football back and in great shape. It's a turnover on down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. First carry for the former Buckeye, J.K. Dobbins. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. First and 10 at the 21-yard line. Jackson on first down. Caught right side and Sneed. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. A shotgun snap and a give to Dobbins. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Seven yards on the pick up there, and now they've got it first and goal. First and goal from the three. Goal at the three-yard line. They'll try to run with Dobbins. 
They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. No gain on the play. When you try to create space for your running back, the first thought is how physical is the offensive line. Sometimes it's just positioning. On that play, it didn't matter about positioning or being physical. The defensive front, they outleveraged them and won the battle. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. And he'll get it down close to the goal line, but not quite in. He'll wind up getting three on the keeper there, but it leads to a third down. A couple extra tight ends are in, third and goal from the one. Jackson will keep it, and he's going to run into a brick wall right in the middle of the field, and I don't think he got there. So call that no gain on the sneak, and now there's still a yard short here on fourth. The offense is staying out there. Here we go on fourth and goal from the one. They're running. Ingram. And he's not going to get in. They stop him at the one. Ingram denied on fourth and goal. And the Seahawks able to come up with a goal line stand. Now Wilson back into his end zone. Quick slant caught by Moore. And he's able to get this across the 10 before being taken down. And now the Raven defense going to call a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Now Wilson. Pressure gets to him and down he goes. Back at the four-yard line. Patrick Queen. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Now Wilson down around his goal line. This one into the hands of Metcalf. He's at the 40, the 20, 10, and all the way in. Touchdown, Seattle. DK Metcalf, 96 yards. And the Seahawks have taken a first quarter lead. And I think it's safe to say we won't call many touchdown passes longer than that this year, partner. No, I would agree with that totally. And right now, you're looking at an offensive coordinator. Conservative would not go next to his name. <laughs> Risk taker, definitely, because he valued the opportunity to create a big play against what could have been disaster if they end up getting sacked or fumbling the ball in the shadow of their own goal line. Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And last time, they had it fourth and goal, rolled the dice, didn't get it. Now they've got to put that behind and try to put together another drive. A yeah, simple tip of the cap, a nod of the head to the defense. Congratulations, you got us last time. But you didn't hold us the whole time. We got down the position. We were able to be in position to score. Let's go ahead and attack again. Continue to have that kind of confidence. Not worry about the one play that didn't allow them to get into the end zone. And this time they'll be trying to get it into the end zone. We'll see what they do. Escaping, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Jaron Reed muscles his way in for the sack. What a nice read and play by the defensive tackle. Never bought the play action fake. Went right for the quarterback and put him on the ground. Now following the sack, they'll come up here on a second down and 12. From the gun, it's Jackson. Looking left side, Andrews with it complete. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 33. 27 yards there, a first down. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10. Down at the 33. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. Nothing.
wanted they picking snakes out they hissing but i can't hear when the crowd screams still balling like an all spring this for all the ones that doubted me gotta lose once to be a true winner only want the hunters with the blues in the blood across it where the blood then the juice stay turned like you know i've been through that water like the heavy swimmers only bread and butter what we ate for dinner so i had to drink until the dream is bigger only want the gold we don't need the silver gotta be number one number two never count used to have bubble guts competition now pour them out Making my babies proud, wanna cut my mama a house. Coming straight out the south, got enough juice to end the drought. Yeah. I buy like, I buy like 23, 23. Won't fall again and I put that on me. I, that on me. Yeah. I feel the way my heart all on my sleeve. Yeah. That's why I had to put my wrist on freeze. Come follow me, can't take another L. Designer on me, this that new Chanel. Did that splash? cannot be tamed i don't do it for fame it's the love for the game i go in like i'm trained i'm prepared for the rain they amazed i ain't break from the sticks and stones they threw anything that you can do i can do it better than you no matter what i do it she still got it's the NFL on EA Sports as we are in the inner harbor of Baltimore at M&T Bank Stadium. There's a scene a short time ago. The Ravens introduced to this sellout crowd and through a sea of pyrotechnics, out they came from the tunnel. We're set to go as the Ravens get ready to match up with Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks. Here's the kicker, Jason Myers, to get this one started. And off we go from M&T Bank Stadium. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. 23-yard line. First down, it's Jackson. It's brought in here by Willie Sneed. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 19 yards there on the catch and run. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. They'll fake the give to Ingram. Now Jackson. That's caught by the former Sooner, Mark Andrews. And he is down deep into Seattle territory. A big play that time for the Ravens. 53 yards. First and goal at the six-yard line. First and goal from the six. They'll run with Dobbins. They'll try to run it in, go an option right. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Brings up second and goal at the five-yard line. 54, right there, right there, 54 miles. Let's go. Check 31, check 31. One more time with Dobbins. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Well, every now and then we have to let a cliche fly, partner. And in this case, what do they say in the NFL? Your best ability is often your availability. And this is an extremely durable kid coming out of Ohio State. He carried the ball every time they even thought about running it. Wore down defenses and able to break big runs late in games. J.K. Dobbins going to Baltimore, an absolute perfect fit. It's now fourth and goal. They're going on fourth down. It's Jackson. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Jordan Brooks with it. And he's going to score. It's a Seahawk touchdown. 
Jason Myers. So they go for it on fourth and goal, hoping to get six, and it's six the other way. If hindsight is 20 20, they would have gone ahead and kicked the field goal, but by being aggressive, it actually cost them. Gave up six points going the other way. Extra point up and through by Myers, and it's now a 7 0 game. And this carries into the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. First and 10 at their own 22-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Back to the air, Jackson following the pick six. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Andrews. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. First and 10 at the 30. Play action. It's Jackson. Steps away to his left. He'll run it. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. This pass complete. Jackson finding Andrews. That catch good for only a couple. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. From midfield now, here's Jackson. That's into the hands of the tight end, Boyle. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 39. 11 yards there, first down. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. You gotta love it, baby. Give us some more. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Willie Sneed. 39 yards. And the Ravens are an extra point away from tying the football game. Great corner out there. Not only able to catch it, turn it upfield, and get into the end zone. It usually involves a little bit of an extra move, doesn't it? You've got to get them thinking that you're moving to the middle of the field and you're breaking away to that corner. But that was well executed. Tucker to kick off for Baltimore. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Taken about seven yards deep. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. 25 yard line. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. A full start, backs him up five, first and 15. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. And this is caught, it's Greg Olson. Wilson's pass. Give him nine on the play, and that'll make it a second down. And they'll work from the 29 on second and six. At the 29-yard line. Buying time to his left. Looking for the tight end, Olsen, and it's intercepted. Picked off around the 27. And they will finally get to him, but a great return has set him up. First and goal at the five. I know it appeared he was saying, hey, give me the football, I'm open, but I don't know if that's a pass that he should have thrown there. Well, I don't think we've ever met a wide receiver that doesn't think he is open or is about to be open. True. So when you throw your hand up in the air and tell your quarterback, hey, I'm available, he's trusting that you are. In this case, he was not, and it turned into disaster for them. Brings up second and goal at the 10-yard line. 
Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. This time, Jackson will throw it. He's going to run again. And he will score. Touchdown, Baltimore. A 10-yard touchdown run. And the Ravens have taken the lead. This defense, so many things to worry about in the red zone area, but you'd have to almost think that Lamar Jackson running the football, that might be number one. It should be number one. And in this portion of the field, the things shrink a little bit because the receivers can't run past anyone because they'll run out of real estate. You should have all eyes on Lamar Jackson when the ball is snapped and try and keep him back in the pocket. Yeah, I don't think that they were surprised he was running it there. They just couldn't stop him, and he ends up in the end zone. First and 10 at their own 18-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. Seahawk football here to start quarter number two as they're looking at a second down and nine to go. Second and nine. Wilson flushed to his right. Now he'll pull it down. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 30. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Seattle. They go play action here on first down. Flushed out right. He'll try and run it. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. And that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Not your normal call in short yardage, but the toss works very well there. Big people out in front being physical, and they pick up a first down. On first down, Wilson. He'll find Ballore out of the backfield. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Call it a pickup of seven, and it'll bring up a second down. Brings up second and three. They'll toss it out to Carson, and he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. It goes as a loss of six, and now third down. This defense has really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. And looks like they've got six DBs on the field here for a third and nine. To throw is Wilson. And he finds a man. It's Olsen. Wilson's and he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Two veterans there. Wilson to Olsen for a Seattle first down. So in Raven territory now. Here's a first and 10 at the 48-yard line. From the shotgun, Wilson. Pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. Calais Campbell fighting his way home for the sack. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Eluding the pressure right. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. 
But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Forced out to his left. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. Offensively lucky there, able to keep the football, but now fourth down, so they'll have to boot it away. I do think, though, they're going to look at this as a positive. One, they recovered the fumble, so they retained possession. But two, being able to punt it changes field position for them. And he can't field it cleanly. It's loose. Touchdown, Seahawks. Nothing here. Now Myers for the extra point. Now we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. Ties the game at 14. Jason Myers to kick off for Seattle. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This taken in about four yards deep. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Their own 17-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown. And now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. The throw here to Andrews, the tight end. That catch good for only a couple. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. Just his second incompletion so far. He's 8 for 10. I think he'll take 80%. There's no doubt that he will, but if you're the defensive play caller, you better circle what you just dialed up on your play sheet and come back to it because you just caused an incompletion. You need a few more of those. That one good for 13 and a Raven first down. That is definitely what we call our defense an uh-oh play. And what you mean by that is against Lamar Jackson. When you see him out of the pocket, your first thought is, uh-oh, he's going to try and run it. How do I get to him and get him on the ground? And guess what? That didn't happen, and his receivers took advantage. Devin Duvernay, the intended receiver. And it's second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. To throw again. Jackson. Over the middle complete. It's Andrews. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts. As they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. At the 36-yard line. Now Jackson on first down. Oh, nearly a disaster there on the check down. But they'll get it back. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Second and ten. Here's Jackson again. Escaping the pressure right. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And the Seahawks have recovered. The defense, they were swarming that time and ultimately got to him before he could get rid of the football and knocked it free. And don't you feel just a little bit of sympathy for him back there, though? So much going on, so much swirling around. He's trying to find someone downfield. He's trying to move around to find an open target. Sometimes you forget the number one thing, take care of the football. 
They'll run the screen with Carson. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles where he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. And now he's going to use his legs, and he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. From midfield now, here's Wilson. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. Wilson. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. To throw again on second down. Wilson flush to his right. Out to the right, he gets it to lock it. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. Right hash, 37-yard attempt. And Myers able to knock it through. And the Seahawks grab a 3-0 lead. So we will not go into the lockers tied. We do have a leader in the clubhouse, so to speak. Yeah, it's only three points. Doesn't seem like much. But it looms big the way that they got it done right before the half ended. Catch made at the 25-yard line. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL. Audie Sports. To kick off for Baltimore. The Seahawks with the advantage, and they get the football first as the second half is underway. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their 25 yard line. He gives it off to Carson, and he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Ball carrier. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Here's second and seven now from the 28. From the gun, it's Wilson. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Patrick Queen. That is just what this defense was hoping for, an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind, and we've gotten to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start things off. You take it from there. They'll roll him out right. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. Ingram churning. He lost the football, and the Seahawks have picked it up. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going, so what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. Flushed out right. That's complete to DK Metcalf. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. On first and 10, it's Wilson. That's into the hands of his tight end, Will Disley. Wilson, seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. 
a seven-yard pickup, brings up second and three at their 49-yard line. Looking to throw again on second down. Wilson. And that'll be incomplete. Wilson's pass thrown to the sideline and incomplete. It's third down and three yards to go. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Wilson after the play fake to Carson. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And he'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 30-yard line. They run it with Carson. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Tackle made. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football part. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you take runs like that each and every time, don't you? And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. And they'll get this from the 8 to the 5. Pick up a 3. With the handoff to Chris that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again they show passing formation, showing the shotgun, and they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. Stop two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is the time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. This defense continues to be good on third down. I mean, they haven't allowed a touchdown offensively. Are you saying, let's go for this. Let's try to get it in the end zone. I don't know about that because of what you just described. They've been so good, and they don't give up the big play that you would expect in downs one through three. Why should fourth down be yeah, any different? True. You might want to go ahead and kick the field goal and see if you can figure out something else as this game moves on. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And last time the turnover on the fumble. And they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very... Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Bobby Wagner. And his guys will take over at the 14-yard line in the red zone. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. On second and seven, Wilson. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. A good job defensively to hold that to four yards, and now it's third down. And it's third down. Wilson now to throw on third down. Steps away. Fine work by the Baltimore defense to help bring up fourth down. And the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. Being chased out left. Hammering for the goal line. He loses the football. They opt to go for it, and they get it. First and goal after a pickup of five. When that ball popped free, we could hear it all the way up here. Those guys down on the field alerting everyone to the fumble. 
He's lucky that his offensive mates picked him up and jumped on him. Yeah, and you have to think to yourself, and I'm sure they've been echoing it on the sideline and into the huddle. Guys, we have the lead. Just take care of the football. Fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. And the Ravens have got it. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Now, last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. Four yards on the pick. We have played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Baltimore. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. And he takes this just about a yard shy of the 20. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the gun, Jackson eluding the pressure right and seeing no options he just tosses this one away incomplete incomplete now that'll bring up second down got out of the pocket didn't look like he had anybody open charles so just gets rid of it and a good play by him if no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take make the right choice get rid of it live to fight another down pressure comes he's taken down by the seahawk defense lj collier in there to get him it's a loss of five defensive end gets in there that time they were in a four three what's the responsibility the ends versus the tackles there charles well most of the time when you talk about the ends they're your pass rushers they're they're the guys that you turn loose to try and get to the guy who's going to throw the football the tackles usually more of the run stuffing variety but the way the way this game is advanced, you're wanting a little bit of everything out of all of your guys. But let's just go ahead and break it down and make it simple. The guy who's the right defensive. Oh, and for the third time, Jackson going to be intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Bobby Wagner. And he's going to score. It's a Seahawk touchdown. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Jason the extra point Myers now extra coming point. from Myers. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Makes the score Seahawks 24, Ravens 14. Jason Myers to kick off for Seattle. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line. So the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. At their own 28-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And we'll see if they can band back together after the pick six. It hurt badly, but still within striking distance. A two-score game with a good chunk of time on the clock. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. He was taken down by Quentin Dunbar. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want. But on the defensive side of the ball, you're scrambling a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I get hit from behind? And he's going to be driven down. L.J. Collier able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. Jackson from the shotgun. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And they will finally get him as he's all the way down near the 40-yard line by the Seahawks. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games, and now in this situation, throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in, 
that one's going to hurt and in a big way. And the lane closes up quickly as he'll get about three down to the 38-yard line. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. They run again with Carson. They go read option with Wilson. And he'll take this one down to the 36. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the... And he finds Lockett in the end zone. Touchdown, Seattle. To number 16, Tyler, Tyler Lockett. Lockett. 36 Seattle. yards. And the interception by the Seahawks. D leads to a touchdown. Now Myers for the extra point. make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. Makes the score Seahawks 31, Ravens 14. Jason Myers to kick off for Seattle. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. At their own 20-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where... The coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Had one tell me once, you know, when we were having a tough patch, this too shall pass, this too shall pass, and it finally kept having a rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something <laughs> to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. And now he'll tuck it and run. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Marquise Brown was the intended target, but it's going to be second down. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Dancing to his left. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Willie Sneed, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Ravens get a bit closer. You got to understand situational football because they're playing with the lead here late in the ball game. So the back defender has got to be as deep as the deepest receiver. Keep everything in front of you. Rally up and make the play. Yeah, you would think they had the three score lead. Now it's down to two, but three score lead here late. That they wouldn't give up a big pass play like that, but they did. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the the toe to the leather on that one. Their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. On oh, second down, it's Carson. 
And he's taken down inside the 30. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. They go play action now. Wilson. And this will be caught by Metcalf for a Seahawk touchdown. To number 14, DK. DK Metcalf there to make the grab. And the fumble recovery leads to six points for the Seahawks. Oh, it's a fake. They'll try and throw for it. Uh, let me go ahead and show my age a little bit. I liked it when they would fake it from the three-yard line, right? When you'd line up, go ahead, and, oh, there's a fake, and he's going to get two. That's great. But from the 15, the risk-reward is just not there. It's so risky to get 15 yards on a fake. Well, you see the result right there. Yeah, I know these young whippersnappers are trying to do different things in this game, but let's go back to old reliable. Kick the ball through the post. Get off my lawn. That's darn right. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. He's going to let it fly. That's caught inside the 20. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Hollywood, Marquise Brown, 66 yards. And the Ravens cut into that lead. So the touchdown was big. This almost equally big as he'll try to get it to a one-score game with a two-point conversion. Now Jackson. And this one incomplete. So they went for the two. They don't get a, a very pivotal two-point try that does not go their way. Now it's a big uphill battle for the rest of the fourth quarter. The attempt was to try and make it a one-score game, right? Touchdown, get two, and now you've tied it up. Instead, they don't get it. It's still down ten. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And... I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Carson. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Calais Campbell on the stop. It's a gain of two yards.